Right, well, with, with Mark Parliament today, the manager of the campaign development side, what are your thoughts then today, Mark, on an excellent victory and performance? It's a good win. Good win. We're through to the next round, which is where we wanted to be. I think um, Tyersall, as a Premier Division side, it was always going to be tough for us, but we've come away um, getting through to the next round. Before the game, did you? Th what were your thoughts? Did you think the game would be harder, or do you think it would be similar to how it was fought out today? I think we had to guard against complacency. Obviously, Tyersall are struggling um, in their division this year, and, and I think it's easy to think they're not very good because of that. But we've got to remember where we are as a team and where they are. And I think to go out and perform like that really was impressive. Obviously, the sending off changed the game, and I think they were they were a tough side. I mean, Tyersall always going to be a tough, strong side, uh, but I think we coped with it well. And who stood out for you today then for our development side? I thought man of the match, Osman Hussain, was very good um, playing in that free role. He could pick up the ball and run at people for a, such a diminutive stature. He's got great strength against some really big lads. But I thought Louis Setien and Aaron Metcalf were fantastic in the midfield again. Um, the defence were, were very good, obviously clean sheet, which you can't complain about. Um, but they had limited to do with one of their strikers being sent off. The three subs that you put on all made an impact. Selection problems for next week? I think so, yeah. Um, they all made an impact because I think we needed fresh legs at the time and certainly Tyson seemed to be tiring. Um, but it gives, obviously, it's a great headache to have that next week we've got these young, hungry lads that are biting at the bit to get into the team. One more victory in this cup and it brings you up against Mr. Bignall. If that happened, who'd win that? I suspect the first team would win because obviously James had pack his bench with seven subs and make sure the reserves don't have a good squad out. Um, no, I think, it'll be, I think it'll be great for the club, we can guarantee a final place. Um, and I think it'll be, there'll be a, a few grudges to be settled from the players, certainly. From a club point of view, it's just great that we can have representation in the final. Well done, and thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>